Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to JJ's PC Build. You know it is JJ with you once again. And if you're first time here, make sure you subscribe. Would be appreciated. Make sure you give a thumbs up as well if you like the video. And let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so you know why we're here today. We'll just explain it. You're here to see PC Merch Nightmares right here on JJ's PC Builds. So we're going to jump to the action screen, and we're going to go from there. So do stick around. See, we jumped into the action screen. Now let's go ahead and get the party started with a little bit of Amazon. We'll go ahead and we'll get that open really quick as we get other things about us cooking, but we got this cooking for today. So we're going to go ahead and type in Amazon. Okay, so we're back on Amazon once again. So make sure you go over here to the all button, go down to computers, put on computers, Let's see, last time we did motherboards. Why don't we do um, um, random access memory? So let's do the RAM. Um, I'm going to do, uh, today I'm going to do DDR4. And we can have a look. At all the DDR4 and see what's cooking. See, because everybody's wondering about last gen, okay? The AM4 and you know, last gen and like your uh, your gen 12 on Intel side, the 13, the 12 and 13. I'm not really gonna recommend the 14. I heard too many people going back to the 13. Make sure you got your drink and snacks, by the way. I do. So, let's talk about the 12th and 13th gen on Intel. You can still use DDR4 with it. You can, probably you can squeak by with the 14th gen. But it's really not, you know, recommended for... And truthfully, it's not really recommended, you know, for the 13th gen and the 14th gen. 12th gen, I can see it like a 12900K. I can see DDR4 there. You can put 64 gigs of RAM with it. Decent motherboard. Yeah. That thing will be rocking sure enough. A lot of people are still, they're still rocking uh, 12th gen, so... You know, you can go from there. Okay. Now, the problem with my pointer is this. Somebody asked me if I can change the color of my pointer. As you all can't see my pointer. Well, the problem is, is yet I have not activated Windows 10. So, guess what? The customization, personalized customization, won't let you do it. So, what we... What I can do and see if I can do it under a different pretense, you know, like going to, I'm on Windows 10 still. I'm going to go, in, I'm going to go really quick. I'm going to kind of go off track. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put you all on standby so we don't go off track and we're going to continue this and I'll let you know what I find out about the mouse momentarily. So do stay tuned. I'll be right back. And I made it back. Look at my new pointer. <coughs> See the little black thing moving there? The little hand? I made it a little hand for you all. This way you can see it goes from black to white to black to white to black to white. Confusing. But right here, this is where we're at. We're going to look at the NV Tech. No, we're not going to, because I don't know MV Tech. So, Corsair 3200 megahertz CL16, 7799. Uh, 
CL16, sorry. 32 gigs, 77. Now, I hate to tell you all this for, you know, the price. Eh, I don't, I'm not foreseeing that price. So let's, let's go over here and put a price point. Let's put a price point of, let's say, let's be fair and put $50. Okay, and put a minimal of... 35 right and hit go so we put 35 to 55 okay this will make it the price point to where you know it's not too bad at least you can see what's going on okay you got 16 gigabyte kick for 35 I want to see what big kit they got in between that price range so, so far, I'm only seeing 16 gigabytes, 16 gigabyte, um, 16 gigabyte, um, 16 gigabyte. So, obviously, they're not going to give you 32 gigabyte from what I'm saying. They're not going to give you a 32 gigabyte kit for... The, you know, for the price of 50 bucks. It would be nice. It would be nice if they gave you a price point on that. Because this, this right here, if you take 36, and this is 3,600 CL, 18, 16 gigs. If you wanted to do 32 gigs, you would have to use all four sticks. I'm not recommending that. I use all four sticks and I got 64 gigs, but I paid like, you know, 130 or 140 bucks, but they're from Corsair, the LPX, uh, 3200 megahertz CL16. I got 64 gigs, four sticks. So I'd more recommend to you to do two sticks. If you're going to do 64 gigs, do two sticks. This way, you upgrade ability. You can slap in another 64, and you get 128 if your motherboard can handle it. That's going to be the thing. If your motherboard can handle it, then that's not a problem. So, moving on. And I just wanted to see if they have anything that's, you know, Viable that's going to give you 32 gigs at this price point. But obviously, no, they don't. So let's do a little bit of a... Uh, let's see. Let's see at 32 gigs what the price point's going to be. Well, you know, well, that's, that's laptop RAM. Just let you know that's laptop RAM. Um, 45, 45, that's 90. That's like 92 bucks for two of those. For that right there, you get two of them. You get 64 gigs of RAM. For 92 bucks, somewhere in there, 93 bucks. It's not too bad. Uh, 266. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. I had to make sure I had to go back and double check. Oh, that's CL18. Oh, no, 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 no. And you got to really re read it. It says 8 gigabytes. I don't know where they're getting 32 gigabytes when they're saying uh, desktop memory kit red, 8 gigabyte. Scam. That looks like a scammer. CL18, 3200, CL18. Come on. That sign's right there. That's a scam and a half, man. Unbuffered, 32 gig. 
Uh, I don't think y'all want to do that with uh, your uh, motherboard. Okay, so we can't go that cheap. Okay, so we can't go that cheap. Let's just go back to any price. Okay, sorry. We'll, we'll get off Amazon soon enough. We're just going to go back to any price. And let's see. Let's, let's add in the 64 gig kit because that's pretty much where you want to be right now. I added in 32 and 64. Okay, so basically, if you want a 128 gig kit, you can you can look it up. That's up to you. Okay, let's see. 32, that's at 77. If you want RGB, that's at 97. I wouldn't prefer it, but anyway. 59, 32, that's 118 for 64. Um, 64 gig. At, no, that look at the clock speeds. You know, be really careful on what they say. Thirty-two hundred MT or three thousand MT or two sixty-six MT. Watch how you order this. I'll give you a helpful hint. When they give you that, watch the kits they got here. Okay. Make sure it says memory speed 3200 MTs. If you go to order that, they got, look at this. When they got, when they got it like this, that tells me there's something wrong with this picture. Okay. Be honest with you. There's something wrong with that picture. And yeah, I'm saying that because I know something and you know, I try to look, I try to stay away from anything that you know, doesn't if it comes from Amazon warehouse, it's going to be legit. You know, I'm not knocking the these other companies, but I'm going to tell you something. You guys need to be clean up your your acts because it's customers are getting pissed about this nonsense. I mean, right here, T Force Delta, thirty two gig. Now. That's two sticks, 70 bucks, you know, but that's 3,600 MTs, CL18, and that's the white version. This is a black version, Trident Z, G-Skill. G-Skill's pretty good. Silicon Power, never tried it. Um, Corsair, yeah, I've, I've run Corsair now. I don't have a problem with Corsair. This is AMD optimized memory black, 32 gigs. So you're going to spend 180 freaking dollars for 64 gigs? Uh-uh. Corsair, uh-uh. Not happening. This, I don't trust it. It's a known name. This is a known name. Um... I don't know them exactly. A lot of people are talking about them, but still, I wouldn't. I would stick with the name brands. You know, 64 gigs. Uh, I don't know. RGB is not that bad, but it don't look that great neither for 143 bucks for 64. It's the pro version, so, but, you know, I just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not feeling it. Come on, guys. You know, when you, when you put something on Amazon, you got to feel it. You know, I mean, that's what the customer, they want to feel it. They want to make sure they're getting the right products. Try it in Z for 138. 36 CL18. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. That's a good product right there. That's a good one right there. Try it in Z RGB series. It's an Intel XMP. Just because it says Intel M XMP doesn't mean that it won't fit with your motherboard. You know why everybody gets that sh shite wrong? Corsair RAM I have in my computer is running AMD, but it says XMP. It says Intel XMP. 
but it's running in an AMD system. So figure it out. I mean, until they start designating, these companies start designating the RAM to either AMD or Intel, you know, I mean, they really can't because then they're going to lose money. Let's move along. We got a lot to go here. Um, oh, no. I skip over the 266s is because most of your modern computers now these days be able to accept 3200 MTs, mega transfers, or up. <coughs> The sweet spot is 3200 MT or 3600 MT. Or if it says megahertz, it's 3200 megahertz or six, um, 3600 megahertz. Still the same crap. If you don't know what kind of RAM your motherboard can handle, then go to your website of your motherboard manufacturer and look it up. You should be able to get a QVL list of your motherboard manufacturer. So look it up. Look it up. Let's see. Let's just move on. All right. We're down at the bottom. Now it's time to move over to New Egg. Okay. So we type in New Egg. New egg. Let's type in DDR4 RAM. DDR4 RAM. And see what they come up with. Okay, so show more. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. And apply it. Usually your sweet spot is 32 and 64 gigs. Okay. We'll turn on free shipping. Lowest prices in 30 days. And to eliminate a lot of the BS, shipping by new end. So we'll turn that on, and then we'll go from there. Let's see. Gigastone, don't know him. Kingston, eh, but that's too high. G-Skill Ripjaw V-Series 64, 159. Not too bad. I can stand by the V-Series. That's pretty. That runs pretty good with your AMD. You know, I don't have a complaint about it because I got 32 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaw V-Series that I put in with that Christmas build, 32 gigs of it. I don't have a problem with it. It runs really good. You know, I don't have a problem with it. So some people might, some people might not, you know, four sticks, 130, 140 bucks. Not bad. Let's see, 32 gigabytes, X4, 127. See the difference between a 128 and 140? You're only looking like price difference, but you're getting twice the amount of RAM compared to putting RGB on your RAM. You know, I'd rather get the double RAM than to worry about RGB light sticks. So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. You know, that depends on how you want to shop. If you like your RGB, then, you know, you like your RGB. Okay. Now, we're not going to go to eBay. The reason why we're not going to go to eBay on the RAM is, no, we're going to go to eBay. You know what? Let's do eBay. And you can see, and I'm going to tell you why, because I, I mean... You take a risk going to e-waste, I mean eBay, and, you know, you take a real big risk here. 
especially with your RAM and your hard drives. We'll, we'll see what eBay has to offer. You know, you never know. You might you I mean, you look at this. This is ECC RAM. What you do is you go over here. You want to do the 64. Or you want to do the 32. You do both. Um, number of modules. Let's do two. Let's do two modules. Uh, we're doing DDR4. See all. Let's see. PC4 is DDR4. Uh, 32. Thirty-two. I'm sure you ain't going to want to do DDR400. This is DDR2. You don't want to do that. This is DDR4. Okay. Best they can do is DDR4. Let's see what it has to offer. And let's make sure it's buy it now. Okay. Now, we specified our ramp. So when you go to eBay, you get your RAM specified. So they got right here, 32 gigs, DDR4, $55. No heat spreader. Why would you buy it here when you can get it brand new with a heat spreader? It doesn't make sense. Unless, unless no, you have to have a heat spreader. Uh, they got... 32 gigs, 64.99, 149, 64 gigs. That's 32 gigs. This is 64 gigs. Okay, so you're going to pay $10 more for this on eBay than you are getting it brand new. Come on, guys. Is this this that's common sense. Okay, let's see. Two pack X16, that's only 32 for 79. No. You could you could buy you could buy this for how much? 77 on Amazon? Come on, guys. XMP DDR4 51 or best offer. That's only one stick. Oh god. Okay. 32 gig of Trident Z. That's if you like Trident Z. That's up to you. It's G skill. So I don't have a problem with G skill. Um, I like G skill. I, you know, I, I like Corsair. These are, these are Rams I've tested. I've tested Corsair and I've tested uh, G skill. I have no problems with neither one. I've been running. Corsair in my computer right here for over a year and a half. So, it runs. Corsair, I'm back in yours and I'm back in G skills because I don't have no problem running theirs either. So, 32 gigs. No. Look at this. $64.99. Come on, guys. This is ridiculous. This is being scalped. This is like scalper prices. Why would you sell something brand new on a market that only sells used? Why the hell would you do that? That's common sense. Last one. Okay, so you got a two pack here and you put last one. What is it? Two pack what? What what is it? It doesn't say two pack here. It says 32 gigs. So it doesn't make sense to me. 32, 32. You don't see them selling much of the 64. 
3200 the OELO for 6199 uh let's try and see okay so we're we're going to roll through here and see if we see what the hell they're doing the same price as Amazon No name brands, I don't recommend. I'm going to tell you that. I don't even recommend really buying RAM off of uh, eBay anyway. I really don't. I'm just showing you guys, you know, what kind of, you know, BS you can get up on, um, you know, the BS you can get right here on uh, eBay. That's all I'm showing you. I'm showing you the BS of it all. I mean, 64 gigs, is that two sticks or one stick? Who knows? Okay, we got through that. Let's go to Micro Center. And then I'll give you my final thoughts real quick, and then we'll call it good. So let's do Micro Center. Make sure you guys do visit them one time at least and tell them JJ's PC build sent you. JJ did. You know, have them look me up on uh, YouTube if they don't know who I am. Obviously, they don't. They know who else everybody else is. So, DDR4 RAM. Okay, let's see. What prices are we going with today? Okay, let's see what the 53 available to ship is. Usually when they say available to ship, I hope they say available to ship to your door. So, 8 gigabyte. Ooh. We're going to have to narrow this down. Hmm. Okay, so we nar narrowed that now. Um, we'll narrow this down a little bit too. Okay, so this is what it comes down to. Instead of looking through all that BS, I went and specified what I was looking for. Let's see. 100. Wow. Wow. Patriot Viper Steel, 64 gigabytes, DDR4. 3,600. 120 bucks. Way cheaper, way cheaper than Corsair, way, way cheaper than G-Skill. Way cheaper, like maybe 20, 25 bucks cheaper. Wow. And I'm glad I did look. I'm glad I did look on Micro Center. Way to go, Micro Center. No heat spreader. 32 gig, 32 gig. That's not going to be up y'all's alley. So right here, right here, this is the deal taker right now. 120 bucks for 64 gigs of 3600 CL18. You cannot get 64 gigs any cheaper unless you pull fingernails to find out where it's at so just let you know that so now 
we got to do it all over again. No, we don't have to do it all over again. Well, okay. So, so we'll put non-EEC. We'll, we'll start, you know, narrowing it down. So this way it's a little bit, be a little bit easier. Okay, so, whoa, look at this. I take that back. Corsair's got it too. 120 bucks. 120 bucks. That is cheap. That means it's $60 every 32 gigs. So that's $30 every 16 gigs. $30. Keep breaking it down until you get down to where, you know, each gig costs you how much, and then you'll know. When you usually, I, I do a price compar a comparison. Anything that's in between 100 and 120 bucks for 64 gigs is well worth it. If you get it for any less, that's perfect. So, they got G skill right here, 3,600. This is 32. This is 36. But they had that other one that they're available to ship for 120. That would have been 3600 so that's the kind of prices you're looking for right here. 120 bucks. You get in five to seven business days. That right there is the star of the show right here when it comes to the ramp. You ain't going to get it any better. I mean... I take that back. Yeah, you will. If you go to the store, they got the Crucial Pro 64. But it's well, not really. For 107 compared to 119, this is 3,600. That's 3,200. Eh. Okay, well, you know, couple bucks more you can get the 3600 so i would go with the 3600 you know even though i know how you know cl22 at 3200 no okay that's that's too many clocks you know that's that's too many 20, 22 too many should only be 16 for 3200 megahertz should only be cl16 not CL-22. Now, if you like RGB, they got this one right here. They got Corsair. They got Team Group. They're the same price. You want to add 30 bucks more and get RGB? That's up to you. It's just an aesthetic you're paying for. 30 bucks for an aesthetic. Put on your... Uh, your RAM. And you're going to pay 10 more dollars here. But they had it priced at $450. This Trident Z. But that's 64 gigs. With RGB. 64 gigs. Same price. Listen boys and girls. I don't see it getting any better than this when it comes to the RAM. You know, unless they're really pushing it down the pipe. I mean, for 140, this is 3200 CL16 and white. But, all right. Let's X out of this. 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 Let's go back to the main screen. And I did it again. Okay. Now, my final thoughts about this. 
Biker Center had some smoker deals. I can't say that too much about Amazon or Newegg or eBay, but available to ship. Just to keep that in mind, available to ship. Micro Center. Go check them out. The Patriot Viper, 64 gigs, DDR4, 3600 megahertz, CL18. You know, I'm thinking about it myself, truthfully. I'm thinking about giving Mike Micro Center a, a quick call and see if I can order it and send it here and upgrade my PC from 3200 to uh, 3600 and see if it's really worth it for the hundred and some dollars. But the, but the 120 bucks, you know. Because I already got 64, all I got to do is get me another 64 gig kit. Yes, I don't, I'm going to tell y'all, I really don't recommend, well, that's a, that's two sticks compared to me running four sticks right now. So if I ran two sticks at 3,600, you never know. But remember, when it comes to DDR4, 3,200 to 3,600 is a sweet spot. To me, the way I've been hearing it from anything above, it's really not necessary. Your computer is going to be fast enough with the processor. You going pushing the processor with, you know, more, you know, faster memory clocks and everything else. You're, what is your gain? What is your goal? You're going to make your computer heat up even faster. And then you're going to say, okay, well, my computer's heating up so fast that my AIO is not keeping up. So I'm going to have to undervolt. So you undervolt your processor just to push your RAM. Doesn't make sense. So keep it at a sweet spot. If you want to, if you want to overclock, like mad, that's up to you. Sorry, I'm wiping my eyes. Kind of one of those mornings. If you want to mad like overclock, that's up to you. Okay. Me, if I overclock, I'm gonna max I'm gonna go on this motherboard is thirty six hundred. I know you all are gonna say, well, the motherboard can go up to forty four hundred. Of course it can. But I'm thinking it's only gonna tap out at forty two hundred for some reason. You never know. It might tap out at 44. It might go up to 46. But it's it doesn't say anything beyond 4,400. So one of these days, I'll get these companies to send me out a 4,400 uh, megahertz dual, you know, you know, dual set combination, 64 gigs. You know, two sticks, two 32 gigabyte sticks. With the fastest clock they got for, you know, B550 and see what they would do. That would be a good question, wouldn't it? To see if my motherboard's going to tap out at 4,400 megahertz. And if they can get the, 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 clocks, the clock latency down, the cast latency down, to about maybe 18, if they can make it a CL18 at 4,400 megahertz, that would be perfect. Just to see if my computer would tap out on that. Yeah, it's a good challenge, but maybe they'll watch this video someday. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Who knows? But anyway, I don't want to get into a rambling mood. And also, too, I did change, did change my pointer. If y'all noticed, my pointer has changed. Now it looks like a big white hand, but over certain over certain spots, it looks like a a big black hand. So, just to let you know that. But anyway, we're gonna jump out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, and too. I'm going to try to timestamp this one just like I did my last video. I'm going to timestamp this one too. 
So I'm going to continue doing the time stamping since I figured out how it worked. So now it's going to be up to me to when I record the video or edit the video for its final, uh, final, you know, thing to make sure I exactly get the time stamps. Or I can take and upload it to YouTube and then I can put my time stamps in later and it will still, it'll still work that way too. I found out it'll work that way too. Cause I just did it on um, my last video, the MSI afterburner one. But anyway, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If you already subscribed, welcome to the family. Welcome to JJ's PC Builds. And my veteran subscribers, as always, much love to you for all that you do. Help support the channel, watching videos from beginning to end. And also to telling your friends to come on down, subscribe, and watch videos from beginning to end. Okay. Don't forget about the live stream here, Saturday, 11 a.m. 11 a.m. on this channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. That way you'll get the notifications and know the next time we put up a live feed, we put up any videos, you'll get a notification on it. So that way you'll know that a new video is coming out. And make sure you give positive likes, guys. I got over 300 plus people. I need some positive likes. And we're getting close to the 500 subscriber mark. Keep pushing more subscribers. Keep pushing more subscribers. Let's at least get up to the 500 mark. That's where we need to be right now, the 500 mark. Time's ticking. And I'd say time's ticking is because when you watch videos from beginning to end, all that time's being lost. Because they only go 365 days a year. And in that year, that's, that's the only thing they give you from your present time to back a year ago. That's it. Anything after that, they don't they take away from you. So you don't get nothing from that. So you want to help this channel out? Get people to subscribe to this channel. Get them to subscribe. Get them to watch the videos. Help us out. I'm serious, guys. Help us out at this point. We need to push, push, push. If we want to get our channel monetized and get us up on square one, then we're going to have to do this. And I know it. I know y'all are going to say, well, we don't really want to get you monetized because of all them commercials and everything else and blah, blah, blah. You know what? I understand about the commercials and everything else. Okay. I really do. Okay. But in order for us to get a larger fan base and everything else, this is a sacrifice we're going to have to take in the meat in the beginning. In the beginning. I'm going to have this little five minutes with you. Okay. In the beginning. For the simple fact, I don't have Patreon set up yet. When we got enough subscribers and everybody agrees that we all want to go to Patreon, then that's when I open up a Patreon and then we can go over and, you know, do some good things on Patreon and get it all set up and ready to go. And as soon as it's rocking over there on Patreon, then I can take and come back to YouTube and... Take all the video, make all the videos ad free. Like some people have been doing, just make them completely ad free. But that's not really going to help now anymore because it seems no matter if when, when you click on somebody's video to watch it, you're still going to get the ads in the beginning, not through the video, but you are at the beginning. It seems YouTube's doing something new with the ad the ads that you know when you what when people don't are not subscribed to their and paying their monthly thing they're forcing you to watch 30 seconds of video 30 seconds of video which i think it's ridiculous it used to be 5 seconds you click on it and then you move on but now they get you watching a whole 30 freaking seconds of video. They're forcing you to watch this. But I'm not going to knock it because they're the ones doing it. I'm not the one doing it. And if you see an ad on my video, they're the ones doing it. I'm not the one doing it. Okay. 
they're even they're even you know they're getting paid for putting ads on my video that I'm not getting paid for. They're getting paid for it. I'm not getting paid for it. That's unfair. Sh you know. Yeah, I'm gonna start complaining because I bust my this a whole year. You know, and put my heart and soul into this damn channel. And they're turning around making money off of me, and I ain't getting nothing for it. They're not giving me nothing. I basically worked for free for a whole f***ing year. You think they'd be nice to give me something? No. I do this full time. Now I had to take a side job. Just to support the channel. Yes, I'm a little bit pissed right now. Because, you know, it... it I mean, I know you guys don't want to hear it. You know you got enough going on in the world and everything else. Don't worry. We'll get through it. Sorry, I'm just venting a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm just... I'm trying the best I can. I hope you all understand. I know my thumbnails suck. I'm doing the best I can on them. You know, I don't have that extra skill... And I told everybody, and I told you all on the first video in the beginning, I don't have that extra special skill to make those kind of thumbnails that everybody wants to see. So I'm doing the best I can on the thumbnails. Yeah, I'm struggling on the thumbnails. Because they're not right, and, you know, you guys aren't watching my videos. and I am trying. I really am. I'm just getting frustrated. You know, you're at that point where you need that extra help and, you know, it is what it is. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a fine day and we'll see you on the next video.